Magandang araw, I'm Sir Richard and this is Sigma Notation, Week 8 of Pre-Calculus Subject. So, for the review, I have your list of numbers, 1, 4, 7, 10, and 13. So, what kind of sequence or anong tawag natin sa sequence ito? Kung matatandaan ninyo, ang, kapag ang sequence is ang difference niya or from first term to the next term is nag add tayo ng constant na number which is called the common difference ang tawag natin dun is the arithmetic arithmetic ah, sorry arithmetic sequence yan and this one since separated siya by plus sign, this is the arithmetic series. Next, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. If I will try to add 1, that will become 2. Ang kaso, hindi ako pwede mag-add ng 1 dito since 4 na siya. Pero, kung magmumultiply ako ng 2 sa so 1, that will become 2 times 2, that will become 4 times 2, that will become... 8. So, kung common ratio natin is 2. Kaya, ang tawag natin dito is geometric sequence. And this one is a geometric series. So, another term to ponder is sa idea nito, I have here 5 terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Limited lang siya sa 5 terms. So, ibig sabihin, uh, we call this one the finite sequence. Siyempre, since ito is limited then, kaya, ah sorry, that is finite sequence and finite series. This third example, meron siyang dot 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 sa dulo ibig sabihin continuous pa siya and since wala siyang ending or hindi siya limited we call this one the infinite sequence and this one is the infinite series so katulad dito what if I will ask you to um, write a sequence or a series, geometric series na start natin sa 3, 9, 7 series 3 plus 9 plus 7 plus what if I ask you to write the first 10 terms actually kung 10 terms lang medyo okay lang kasi kahit pa paano uh, 3, 9, 27 then sunod is 81 plus kung ano ba nakasunod niya kung 10 terms lang okay lang medyo madali lang konti pa lang siya pero kung 50 terms na medyo mahaba na yan 100 terms medyo hindi na nakakatawang gawin yun what if 1000 terms yan actually nagubos na tayo ng oras kapag pinagawa ko sa inyo yun since pwede ko ang dugtungan po ulit yung 1000 terms but with this topic, sigma notation, pwede nating bigyan or gawa ng shortcut yung pagsusulat na. So, define na natin ito. Uh, so, this topic or is about the notation for sums. This is called sigma notation. Since gumagamit tayo ng uppercase Greek letter, which is the sigma, ito yun. So, sa taas is the upper bound or siya yung pinaka-limit nung kung hanggang saan. Sa baba naman is the lower bound or kung ano yung start. Then, yung f of i is the sum yung tinatawag. So, this is read as the summation of f of i from i is equals to m, ito, up to n, ito naman. Okay, so in this example, I have here 3, 9, 27, 81 up to 1,000. So, what if we are to write the this series up to 1,000? 1,000 term. So, I, ang end natin is 1,000. Tapos, ang start natin is 1. 
then kailangan natin ng formula to be able to obtain these numbers from the first term up to the last term. So, since this is 3, then yung sumunod is 9, yung sumunod is 27, then 81. So, ibig sabihin, pwede akong gumamit ng 3 raised to 1 para makuha si 3, 3 raised to 2 para makuha si 9, and so on, 3 raised to 4. So, this will be 3 raised to i. Yan. Okay, how about 1, 4, 7, 10, and 13? So, 1, 2, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 terms. So, summation, 5, i is equals to 1. Then, paano naman natin pwede kunin yung uh, formula nito? Actually, pwede natin gamitin si 3n minus 2 para, sa, para makuha natin itong mga numbers ito. So, try natin. Substitute natin yung mga values Ah, uh, sorry. That's 3i. Three 3i three minus 2. So, 3i minus 2. Try natin substitute yung values dun sa i para makita natin kung babagisang nga siya rin. Or pupunta nga siya rin. So, we have 3 times 1 minus 2 plus 3 times 2 minus 2 plus 3 times 3 minus 2 hanggang dito lang muna since medyo masikip na 3 times 1 is 3 minus 2 that is 1 3 times 2 6 minus 2 that is 4 3 times 3 is 9 minus 2 7 plus yung kasunod na lang so, 147. 147. Yan. So, ito yung pinakaan natin. Formula. Or sigma notation. Yan. Next, I have here 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Summation. Normally, we will try to write 6, then i is equals to 1. Pero, paano natin pwede makuha itong mga numbers ito? Ano yung formula? If we will be using the number 2, then i-raise natin siya to a certain power, we'll be able to get this number. So, <clears throat> first is 2 raised to 0 para makuha si 1. 2 raised to 1. 2 raised to 2. Then, 2 raised to 3. 2 raised to 4 and 2 raised to 5. So, kapag ginamit natin itong mga numbers na ito, makukuha natin itong 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 10, 32. So, that is 2 raised to i. Ang problema, 2 raised to 1 is 2. Dapat mag-start tayo sa 1. Pwede natin itong baguhin. Yung start at saka end. So, start tayo sa 0. Then, n tayo sa 5. Since, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pa rin naman siya. 6 pa rin naman yung terms sa pupunta niya. And, that's it. So, this is 2 raised to 0 plus 2 raised to 1 plus 2 raised to 2 plus 2 raised to 3 plus 2 raised to 4 and plus 2 raised to 5. Okay. So, another example. Um, this time, Mula sa sigma notation, try natin siya i-convert to its corresponding series. And try na rin natin i-evaluate ko ano yung sagot niya, or sum. So, I have here i. I will start from 1 up to 5. So, ang magiging series niya is... Ah, sorry. Yan. So, i mag-start sa 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4 and plus 5. So, 1 to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Kung i-add ko siya, that is 3, 6, 10, 15. Ito naman. Um, try muna natin siyang i-evaluate or try natin i-substitute yung value dun sa i. So, this is 0 plus 1. Since start tayo sa 0. Plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 plus 11 plus 12 plus 13 plus 14 plus 15
plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1 plus 4 plus 1 plus 5 and this will give us 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 so kung mapapansin nyo uh, this will be equals to 21 so kung mapapansin nyo halos kamukha na lang pero iba sila ng saman at iba yung start ito naman start tayo sa 2 and tayo sa 5 then yung i is ito yung nasa coefficient nya so 2 raised to 2 plus 3 raised to 2 plus 4 raised to 2 plus 5 raised to 2 and this is equals to 54 ah uh, mamaya try natin this one start tayo sa 1 and and tayo sa 5 so 1 this should be i 1 over i One over one plus one over two plus one over three plus one over four plus one over five and okay. next uh, C constant this is constant yeah so start with I so one up to five guess okay. C plus C plus C plus C plus C so, kung mapapansin nyo, wala siyang value sa 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Pero, meron siyang 5 na C. So, this will be 5C. 5 times na sinulat yung C. Kasi yung nagsara tayo sa 1 up to 5. Okay, so for us to be able to evaluate the values, um, for a sigma notation, kailangan natin gumamit ang properties ng sigma notation. Actually, meron pa tayong formula for sigma notation. Ito, sa properties, we only have two. So, k times a sub i. So, k yung um, parang pinaka-coefficient natin. Then, ito yung function or constant, then function. So, k will be ilal is ilalabas natin. Then, kukunin natin yung summation ng a sub i. In number two, we have a sub i plus or minus b sub i so pwede natin siyang gawing summation of a sub i plus and minus summation of b sub i so okay try natin to dito i-apply yung idea simplify muna natin so i minus 1 uh, quantity i minus 1 squared is equals to i squared minus 2i plus 1 all over 2 Ayan. so simplify lang natin then, apply na agad natin yung um, number 1. Since meron akong 2 dito sa ilalim, I can multiply the uh, function with 1 half. So, tapos, summation of 5i equals to 1. Summation of i squared minus 2i plus 1. Then, apply naman natin dito yung uh, number 2. So, 1 half times the summation of i squared minus number 1, apply ulit natin so instead of 2i 2 times the summation of i plus summation of 1 ok, so Try natin i-expand 1 half 5, total 5 times natin isusulat from 1 to 5 So 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared Ah, sorry This is 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared This is actually equals to 55 later on Minus 
2 times ato i 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and plus 5 plus 1 summation of 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 then simply find na natin so I have here 1 half 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared is 55 minus this is 15 times 2 is 30 plus 5 so 55 and 5 60 minus 30 is 30 times 1 half we will get 15 so kapag in-evaluate natin yung values ito using the segmentation we will get 15 then we also have the summation formula so kapag ang kukunin ang given natin is a constant that is c times n so yung constant times the n pero kapag i that is n times n plus 1 all over 2 then kapag i squared naman yung function natin that is n quantity n times n plus 1 times quantity 2 n plus 1 all over 6 so meron pang i cube hindi ko na sinama since wala naman doon sa example natin so we also have the i cube so dito balik tayo i have here 1 half times the paano natin kukunin yun sa i squared so i squared i squared is ito n 5 times n plus 1 5 plus 1 times 2 5 plus 1 all over 6. Since 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 yan. Cancel out na. This is 2 times 5 is 10 plus 1, 11. 11 times 5 is 55. 2 times uh, summation of i. So for i is ito, n times n plus 1 all over 2. Kaya n natin is 5 times 5 plus 1 all over 2 so 5 times 6 is 30 divided by 2 that is 15 then C for the C which happened to be CN uh, ito yan yung constant so 1 yung N natin is 5 1 times 5 that is 5 ok so sulit ka na rito 55 minus 2 times 15 plus 5 and that will give us 1 half of 60 minus 30 1 half of 30 is 15 which is hindi nyo sagot kanina no nagmanamanan tayo ok so I hope you enjoyed learning and thank you so see you sa next video salamat